Welcome back. <laughs> oh, Master. I wonder what kind of dream we'll have tonight. <laughs> well, let's go together. Seek you. Love, like the full moon. Episode 1. His name is Jericho. Midday, you are handling your normal job, working your shift at an empty diner. It's boring for the most part, considering that there's no customers to ask for anything. That is, until the sound of a motorcycle pulling up is heard, and you can see a man enter the shop, lighting a cigarette and taking and taking a drag of it, only to exhale with a shaking breath. Just, <sighs> just black coffee. His voice is a bit deep, scratchy even, most likely from the cigarettes. It seems he's a heavy smoker. You got a problem with staring. I need a coffee. Hurry up. A bit sharp tongue, too. You pour him a cup of coffee. Finally. Thank you. He finishes his cigarette and starts to drink his coffee. You really got a thing with staring at people. What? Do I scare you or something? <laughs> I'm pulling your leg. Relax. I don't come out here much. But if anything, I think I'd come back here just to see your eyes. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I get a bit more agitated if I didn't like the look of your eyes. Have you been here all morning? Shame. Pretty thing like you shouldn't stay here all morning. You gonna head off soon? I'll do you a favor and take you home. <clears throat> he takes another drink of his coffee. My name? Jericho. A pretty dark name, I know. Mom gave me the name. I didn't ask for it. I'm pretty sure your name is better. Pretty one like you is bound to have an even prettier name. Though, uh, I bet giving you a nickname might be even better. How about... <laughs> Angel. You like that? Why don't you wrap up? I'll be here when you're all set. Though he's one for noticing you staring, Jericho seems to be the one staring at you for the entire time until your shift is over. <laughs> and just after you finish clocking out, Even cuter without the apron. Come on, let's get you home. You look tired. Nah. <sighs> yeah, my motorcycle. Take the helmet. I don't need it. Been riding for a good part of my life. I'll be fine. Just hang on tight, okay? I won't get mad if you squeeze too much. <laughs> It's a joke. It's just a joke. Just laugh with me. Let's get moving. Oh, so, how far out do you live? Don't you think it's a bit sketchy that you live out here? And you work all the way out there? You know, some real boogeyman can come out at night. Right. 
Maybe you need some kind of big strong. <laughs> this it? All right. Let's go to the driveway. There you go. Safe and sound. It's a bit convenient too. I come out here often. I, uh, I like the woods. You know, serene, calm. You ever just sit down and hear the river? The kind of stuff that puts you to sleep. But, uh, uh, what am I talking your ear off for? Go ahead and get some sleep. See you around, okay? Take care. And yeah, I know where to find you. Jericho starts his bike up again and heads off, waving to you. You head inside your home. You just crash. It's been a long morning. By the time you wake up, it's late in the evening. Almost nightfall. But you recall what Jericho had said. He hangs around in the woods. Maybe he's out right now. You head into the woods. Running over rivers, crunching over leaves. It's just as calm and serene as he said. And just as you thought, he's there. But he seems to have dozed off. You tap his nose. And almost quickly, his eyes open. Huh? Huh? Oh, shit. How long was I out? What time is it? Huh? Angel, what are you doing out? Hold up. Oh, what time of day is it? Oh, shit. Shit. You gotta go. He stands up, beginning to push you away. It, don't, don't worry. I just gotta get you home before it gets too dark. Nothing is wrong, just, uh... I just, uh... <coughs> uh shit! Just... Just leave without me. Okay? What? A, a hospital? No, just, just, just pull the muscle. Just head on out that way. Nor anyway, just, just eh, head on out. Jericho practically falls over as the sun sets. You walk over to check on him, but he quickly pushes you back. I don't need a damn doctor! Just, just go before something happens. I don't want you to... Don't want you to, Angel. Ugh. Shit. Jericho panics, his body shaking as he starts to change. A few sharp yells as his body starts to transform. Fur covering his body, teeth, no fangs elongated and becoming... Monstrous. You can hardly believe what's happening. It's enough of a fearsome sight that you just pass out. But the next thing you know, you feel something. Something gentle, but fluffy all at once. You see the monster. That nearly makes you panic. But before you can scream, he presses his forehead against yours. His voice is deeper. Don't scream, Angel. It's... it's still me. Didn't want you to see me like this. Sorry. You calm down after hearing his voice. It's calming to know that he has some humanity in him. But you're surprised when you're suddenly carried. 
You need to go home. It's late. Jericho rushes you home. It's faster than normal, but once you're home, he sets you down. You don't have to see me anymore. I'm scary. I'm scary. I know I am. But despite that, you hug him. What? what? What are you doing? You don't feel scared. You don't feel... We idiot. So weird. Just, just get inside. Go to bed. Please. Jericho backs away and runs into the woods again. Leaving you alone for the night. You're unsettled, but you head to sleep regardless. <laughs> You're sleeping a lot today. In the morning, however, you're surprised to see Jericho sitting in the chair nearby. Furless, fangless, and all clothed nearby yo i came back don't know why you wanted me to stick around you're probably someone into danger but it's not bothering me i just feel a bit surprised that i'm actually wanted for once so i thought on it and i decided I'll stick around here, with you. So, he approaches you, pressing his forehead against yours. Let me stay here. We could probably make something nice of it. Yeah. He gently kisses you. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good, Angel. Good morning, Master. Looks like it's the end of the dream. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do let me know if you did. Hopefully, hopefully. You'll be able to join me again for the next one. Anyway, 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 anyway. Now that we're both shaking the sleepies out of our eyes, let's wake up, get up, and bring smiles to the world. <laughs> Seek you out. Hey there, everyone. Seek you's here. And here's a little reminder for you to cast away any self-doubt in your mind right now. Right now might be a time for you to say, Hey, I need to believe in myself. I have no room for self-doubt. I believe in myself. So, powerful, powerful, powerful you. Go achieve your dreams and grasp your destiny with your own hands. You believe in me, and so I'll believe in you too. Hmm. Go, 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 go! Fighting! <laughs> you can do it.